What is the name of this course and what's it about? The course that we're teaching this term is RSCI 601, um, Biomedical Commerce. The course is, as the name implies, about how we manage medical products like drugs and devices um, on the marketplace, how we get them onto market and how we keep them onto market. Um, so it really is a snapshot of how a medical products company works. So why teach it? What's, what's it about? Well, most of the students in the programs that we teach are thinking of careers in industry. Now, they may be thinking of specialized careers in regulatory science or in clinical affairs or in quality. However, a company is a very integrated organization, and it's very difficult to do a good job if you think that you can work in isolation you're going to have to interface with lots of other individuals, particularly individuals who are in charge of the money, people like the finance department and the marketing department and the sales department. And all these people work together. If you don't understand how the overall business works, you end up not making the best contribution when you're working in teams that involve those individuals. You don't understand how they think, and you don't understand what's important to them in order to get their jobs done properly. OK, so who would take this course? Who needs this course? Um, this course is core to our regulatory science programs and is very valuable to individuals doing drug development as well. Um, we suggest it, of course, for our regulatory and clinical and quality students. but it probably is very useful more generally. For example, even an MBA student who is learning business will often not be taking specific courses on medical products businesses. And medical products businesses work differently. Uh, they have a very long development path, often more than a decade. They're rolling out globally so that you don't just have to care about what's happening in your neighborhood, you have to care about what's happening in different parts of the world. And it's very expensive. So the development path is probably going to cost, for a drug nowadays, about a billion dollars. If you're going to make that money back, you have to have a very different business plan than you would have, say, if you're doing consumer goods or toys or um, even IT products. So I don't necessarily have to be in a regulatory science degree program to take this course? No, some of our students come from other programs. Uh, we do have students who come to us from the business school. We have students who may come from um, a variety of other places, maybe medicine, maybe law. Um, we treat this course like our other courses, and that is that uh, individuals can be entered as limited students or part of other programs. Okay, and so how is this course taught? Uh, how is it graded? Um, we grade this course in a rather different way. Um, the centerpiece of this course is really a capstone project. The project is worth probably 50% or more of the marks. Um, there's, there's a little bit of, of change in terms of whether students do certain projects and not others. But it is the centerpiece of the course. And at the end of the course, students and groups are going to present a business plan. And that business plan is going to require that they each adopt different roles so that they may find themselves in a very different job description than they eventually want to be. Um, in addition, there will be a midterm test, which is multiple choice and short answer. Um, there is an optional assignment associated with the course um, for those who want to do it. And uh, basically, once we've done the midterm test, our focus really is on providing lecture materials and other support materials that students can use as they sort of self-learn while they're um, putting together that business plan. Now, that having been said, there's also a slightly different approach in this course. We co-chair, co-chair like the airlines, this course with a second course that is taught on Monday afternoons. So in 601, there are five days of weekend uh, teaching from 9 to 5, so five weekend days that are very intensive. And those are taught in the classroom here. 
In addition, the Monday afternoons are also taught in the classroom, but the many of our students are not available on Mondays because they're working or they're at a distance. As a result, we capture those lectures. Of course, we capture all the lectures, but we capture those lectures, and the students have the option to look at those lectures you know, at their convenience online. So there is a lot of material that's provided. Um, in some cases, we even provide similar material with two different instructors so students can get different points of view. Okay, very good. Is there anything else you'd like to say about the course? I don't think that um, there's much to be said right now, but I think it is an interesting course. It is a fun course. Many students say to us that they had really no idea about the breadth of activities and the difficulty of some of the activities in other sectors. For example, many people think marketing is very easy until they're forced with having to do it themselves, and then they find that they achieve a new respect for the marketing teams. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome.